Willie D. Live. What's up, family? If it's your first time checking out the show, let me know what city, what state you're coming in from. If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you're representing. Throw up your flag. Family, I need you to smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. Also, if you have not done so already on YouTube after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing right now so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop. I'll let a few hundred of y'all come in, then I'm going in. But in the meantime, in the between time, I'll give some shout outs to the early birds. Paint the sky. What it do? Bernando Turner. What's up? What it do, Duke? Kindness matters. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Duke. Duke Bigelow. What's up, Duke? Cincinnati, Ohio in the building. Safai Lee. What's up? Art fam. I see you. I see you. David Tomlin. What's up, Dave? I saw you the first one to jump in the chat. I'm going in, fam. I'm going in. Just one day after Candace Owens declared that Ben Shapiro did not have the power to fire her, Candace Owens was effectively fired. I ain't got no problem with that. Here's why. Candace Owens is a buck dancing jigaboo. Now, I know some of y'all like to hear her get on a soapbox and talk bad about black folks. And y'all get excited when she does this. Y'all love to hear her say disparaging things about black folks. And the first thing y'all say is, well, it is true. Well, it's true. It's a whole lot of things that are true that people don't use to disparage their own. Who else out there do you know that is constantly, that makes a living off of dragging their own kind? Like there isn't any virtue there isn't any good in black society. Like we just ain't did nothing. It's, all she does is just consistently points out perceived or real shortcomings. That's all she does. Throw her people under the bus. It's amazing that she spends a lot of time around non-black folks, but she never has any criticism for those people. Only her own. But it looks like she may have a case of temporary insanity because she messed around and forgot her place. That's right, I said it. Candace Owens forgot her place. She messed around and started talking down on the Jewish people. And they accused her of saying, making some anti-Semitic remarks. I agree, I do believe she made those more remarks. And I believe that she should be punished for those remarks. And I stand with the Jewish community in their decision to cancel her. I stand with the Jewish community. Candace Owens, in my opinion, is anti-Semitic. She should not have an opportunity to be on these fine platforms that are owned by members of the Jewish community so that she can disparage those members. It doesn't make sense. She must be brought to heel. Again, I stand with the Jewish community and their decision to cancel Candace on. So what happened? Well,
Candace was fired today by the Daily Wire. They announced it on Twitter. They took to Twitter and like, hey, man, we ain't doing no business with it no more. The co-founder, actually, the dude, uh, Jeremy dude, jumped on X and he announced that the company had parted ways with Candace. Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. He wrote that in a statement. He did not provide any more information. In the aftermath, Candace, being the grifter she is, took to social media to react. And she acknowledged that she had been fired. She said, the rumors are true. I am finally free, finally free. She said, I'm finally free. And she urged her followers to keep up with her work at her personal website. She promised additional news to come and in the near future and confirmed that she'd be launching, relaunching her show after a brief hiatus on her personal YouTube channel. Candace has denied being anti-Semitic in recent interviews. However, I don't believe her. I believe the members of the Jewish community. I stand with those members in their decision to fire her. Now, guess what's going to happen now, fam? Candace has burned the bridge she's, that she crossed over to sell her people out. Candace has bit the hand that fed her, the racist hand that fed her. So now she's going to do exactly what these Negroes, spelled with a K, spelled with a K, tend to typically do after they get their N-word wake-up call. They try to slide back on in to the black community and try to get in like Stacey Dash did. Remember that? You ain't heard from her since, right? They all, we, it always happens. They all always get that in wake up call. Why? Because white supremacy always discards its tools when it's done with them. Candace is now begging for crumbs, trying to stay alive, trying to stay afloat. I wonder is her hubby's IQ paycheck gonna kick in and help out with the bills now? <laughs> Yeah, man. She is now scurrying black back to the black community, getting those dummy blacks who can eat are so gullible, those self-hating blacks who love to hear criticism about their own people. All you got to do is say one thing that's true about the black community and you got them. You can say everything else. You can just be, you ain't, it ain't got to be fat. It can be straight opinion and it can be disparaging and they'll ride with you the whole time because they are self-hating Negroes. Self-hating Negroes are the only type of black people who likes Candace Owens. That's right. I said it and I'm standing on it. Yeah, she's going to try to come running back now. Now she want to get back in good with the blacks. That's right. She's going to try to get back in good. The slow pokes going to take her just like that. They're going to take her back just like that. They're going to give her money and everything. She ain't getting nothing from me. Nothing. I ain't got nothing for her but a whole lot of criticism and pain. 
going into the comments. What's up, Renee Christopher? Let's see who we got here. Who we got here? Leslie Bruce. What's up, Les? Sarah Smith says, Willie, you are wrong. Please explain, Sarah. Please explain. Now, I'm, I'm open-minded. I'm open-minded, but please explain. Uh, she really trying to help us. Help us? You that gullible? <laughs> How is somebody trying to help you when they... Imagine if Candace... Okay, think about this, fam. Imagine if Candace Owens look like. Imagine if Candace Owens was a parent. Imagine if she was your parent, and she spent ninety percent of her time criticizing you and telling you everything wrong with you, everything bad about you, all of the negative things about you. And she spent 90% of her time just talking bad about you, talking about everything that's wrong with you. And she spent 10% of her time praising you and telling you how great you are and how great you can be. Would you think that was good parenting? Have you noticed that there are no, you cannot find one white person, one Hispanic person, one Asian person on no major platforms getting paid to disparage their own people. You can't find one. But in black society, they run amok. The uncivilized mutts, they're pervasive. They run amok. Again, fam, uh, all of you, uh, who got something to say about Candace that you 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 Candace lovers? This ain't this ain't your page. In fact, let me let me let, let me get up get some of y'all up out of here because you're starting to make me you're starting to make me mad. Get some of y'all on up out of here right now. I don't need your subscriber. I don't need your subscription. I don't need your follow. I don't like you and I don't like you. I don't like your bosses. I don't like your mammy. No mammy formed against me shall prosper. If you can't see through Candace Owens, you got to be blind. You dumber than I thought you were. How smart did you have, how dumb do you have to be to not be able to re recognize that the daily liar or wire is ran by a bunch of racists? Why would they hire a black person unless that black person aligned with their views? These dudes are outwardly racist. Well, you know, it's racist everywhere, right? But these dudes are proud Card carrying KKK. Y'all hear her say of one or two things that's that's cool about the black community. Y'all hear her say one or two things and then automatically y'all love her. Y'all forget all that other stuff she be saying. You forget everything else she say. Now nah, something's wrong with you.
Addison Jackson, what's up? What's up, Miss Jazzy? What it do? That's right, let them know, let them know the rules. They use Candace Owens until Candace Owens turned on them. They use Candace Owens to control weak black minds, to spew her racist rhetoric against black folks. And when she turned on them, they fired her. Now here's the deal about these grifters. They usually just follow the money. They usually just, whatever they do, they only do for the bag. So that means they can be bought. That means that when they start talking, they're not really speaking for themselves. They're saying what the people who write the checks, who stroke the checks, want them to say. Tell them to say. So deep down inside, we know now that Candace always harbored those feelings towards the Jewish community. But since they was willing to stroke her a check, she was willing to do those specific people who are in the Jewish community, Ben Shapiro and his co-founder, she decided that, you know what, I'm going to work with these guys and I'll do their dirty work for them. When she turned on them, now it's a problem. When she turned on them, it became a problem. She could say all the low down, dirty things that she wants to say about the black community, but at the moment she said something about them, it was a problem. So for all of y'all who talking this talk about Candace Owens, love the black community, she more black than here. You got to be retarded if you think Candace Owens is more black than me. You got to be retarded if you think Candace Owens is a better person than me. I would never under any circumstances throw my people under the bus. You ain't got a check big enough to make me sell out my own people. To even make a statement like that lets me know that something is wrong with you. Your credibility does not exist. You ain't qualified to speak on my level. Candace Owens got exactly what we predicted was coming to her. She got her in wake up call. This is what happens to all of these step and fetch it buck dancers. Eventually they get their call. They get that call. Because here's the deal. They ain't, even if they work for them folks or whatever, they're never going to be accepted. They're never, you know what? They never going to be respected. She thought she had respect and acceptance. Now she out there in the cold all by herself. Talking about she taking a break. Yeah, right. A breakdown. I don't even know if some of y'all uh, that got these uh, pictures with these black faces on, I don't even know if some, a lot of y'all, I don't even think y'all even black. You got to be trolls or you got to be some type of uh, bots or something. But then again, it's, a, it's enough of them out there to, to, to believe that it could be true. Some of this stuff that y'all say could be true because I haven't seen enough of them out there calling themselves the N-words for Trump. You dummy, who raised you? 
who raised you to look at, to think of yourself as so lowly, clown. Angel Heaven, what's up, what's up? What's up, Janelle Smith? EJ King in the building, Tom, what up? Courtney Johnson. Uh, got me another one. Got me another troll. Woo! Miss Jazzy, you ain't catch somebody, you ain't catching these trolls fast enough. You usually be better by catching those trolls. Uh, I got I got another troll. You know what? This is why we get rid of trolls around here, fam. We get rid of trolls because trolls are hoes. They got to go. Yeah. Yeah. See, I knew when I put Candace Owens' name in the title, a bunch of them was going to show up anyway. See, Candace got those, uh, she got her Negroes, and then she got those who love the Negro. They like them good little Negroes. Just mind and don't cause no waves and don't bring no attention over here. Don't say nothing about us. Just only talk about your own. Only talk down about the blacks. You got something negative to say, you better not group us. Group the blacks all you want. Group the blacks all you want. You got something negative to say, you can group black people all day long. Make them a monolith all day long. You can say anything negative you want to say about them. Just keep it on that side. And that's what she did. I suspect that she's going to be a little bit more free about her opinions on the true America in the coming days and weeks and months because she didn't burn those bridges. I'm stepping on her neck. She down and I'm kicking her. I'm kicking her while she's down. She deserved to be fired, not just from her job. She deserved to be fired from the human race. Lowdown and despicable. It's about the closest I can get to saying something nice about it. Sub Crow, Maziko Lee. I M H T P, what up? What's up, Big G? Mike Brown, what it do? Thirty four nails. Yes, I know it's some Candace on supporters in here. Y'all love her. Y'all some self hate, especially you black Candace Owens lovers. Y'all some self haters. I know where you're from. I know what kind of cloth you cut from. You self hating. What kind of damn person wants somebody all day long spending all day long just disparaging their own kind? What, what person in their right mind would think that that's a good person? They just spend all day long disparaging their own people. That's all she do. All day long disparaging her own people. And then, and, and what kind of person that, that, that would forgive her like that? Just automatically, soon as they kick her out, oh, we got to protect her. We got, I ain't doing nothing. Come get her. Come get her, man. Come get her, let her head roll. Put her out in the middle of Times Square and stone her off with her head. Put them back in them biblical days. Put that biblical punishment on her. 
off with her head. She did it to herself. She did it to herself. I ain't got no protection for her. She ain't, ain't no refuge around here. She can't get no refuge around here. And everybody that I know that's in this space where we bring awareness, information, and instructions to help our people, she ain't getting no help from none of those people. Yeah, she's going to have to rely on you slow pokes. The slow pokes and the few of them other folks who ain't turned on her yet. Yeah, see, she didn't get the memo because they will turn on you and they do stick together. So when you burn one, you burn them all. Yeah. Now let's talk about how they stick together. Let's talk about that. Do I got it? I got me another one. Look like I got another troll. I got another troll. Let me do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on, hold on, where my block? There you go. Boom! Block that sucker. Hey, I actually love it when I put uh, people like Candace Owens and Trump in my in the title because the trolls come out. Boy, they be coming out to protect them, boy. They be, boy, they be trying to protect. Hey, what you saying? What you saying about my leader? What you saying about my boss? What you say about my master? What, what you out there saying about my God? About my boyfriend? That's, I'm talking about the men who like Trump. Which is out there talking about my boyfriend. They love him. Woo, love his dirty draws. I bet they'll lick his dirty draws if he, he asked them. Yeah, they love him like that. So I'll be waiting for him. I can't wait when I do a live like that because I'm throwing a block party. It's a block party when I put them in the title. I'm ready for you. Come on, who else wants some? I got some more blocks. I ain't got but about three of them in today. I need some more blocks. I'm a Mutombe. What's that dude's name? Used to play basketball. Mutombe. I can't say the rest of his name, but I think it's Mutombe. Mutombe. Remember Mutombe used to do this when he blocked a shot? No, no, no. Yeah. Let me look that dude's name up. Let me get his name right. Mutombe. Dikembe Mutombo. Dikembe, Dikembe Mutombo. That's his name. Dikembe Mutombo. I hit him with the Dikembe Mutombo. No, no, no. Who else wants some? Hit him like that. That's when you're a professional, when the rest of your, your hand don't move and you just do it like that. And you just all move. The only thing move is that index. Yeah. No, no, no. Got me another one. Got me another one. Ooh, man. This is. Hold on, hold on. Where, where, where you at, sucker? Here we go. That's a female sucker, too. Some of these females are suckers, too. Got her. Who else? It's going down. It's going down, baby. Block party. Let's go. Yeah. Man, this would have been really nice if we had, if she'd have got fired last month, Black History Month. That would have been really, really cool right there. But hey, man, you know, we'll take March. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Candace trying to figure out where she gonna get that next check from. Talk about follow me, follow me on my Instagram. Now she said, follow me on my website for more content. Follow my work. What work? What work? Destroying your own people, 
disparaging your own kind, that's her work. Talking down on, own, on her own people. That's the work she do. And then every now and then she go in and she talk bad about uh, Sexy Red or she talk about Lizzo weight or something like that. That, that's that that's all she got to do is talk bad about black folks and y'all love her what where is the solutions right she talk a lot of stuff she talked down a lot about black folks yeah anybody can call out bad behavior but what 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 is she saying about the overweight women in these other uh groups what you know what is she saying about the the ratchet women in these other groups nothing she ain't saying nothing she only disparage your own people and some of y'all so slow y'all think that's real y'all think she cool y'all think she doing something because she calling out black folks y'all think that's something that's because you a self-hating negro you a self-hating negro that's why you think it's something because you feel the same way you got all the smoke in the world for your own kind, but you ain't got nothing for the mother folks. Yeah, you just like her. That's why you like her. Talking about work, follow my work. What work? Disparaging her own people all day long, throwing her own people under the bus. That's her, hu that's her whole hustle. Throwing her own people under the bus. That's her hustle. That's her work. That's all she do. Find somebody black who done did something wrong or who may have, who may uh, have embarrassed themselves and she go in and pounce on them and then talk about how that person is a reflection of the entire black civilization. That's what she do. That's her hustle. It's simple. Got me another one. Got me another one. Black. Yeah, who else? It's a black party going on over here, baby. You didn't know? You ever been to a black party at 2 o'clock in, in, in the afternoon? Got me another one. Got me another one. Yeah, man. Y'all getting up out of here. You know what? Another reason why I, 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 I block immediately because if you don't get rid of these clowns the first time, you're going to have to deal with them again. So just like in real life, when you have one of these clowns say something stupid, when you have one of these clowns violate in real life, you got to check them the first time. Because if you don't, you're going to embolden them or somebody else who may have caught wind of the altercation or the conflict. So you want to nip it in the bud the first time. No, no, don't try to use no child psychology on me, fool. Uh-uh. I'm going to let y'all read this. Check this out, fam. I'm, 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 normally, I don't do this, but I'm going to let y'all read this one. Watch. Check this out. Blocking someone means they touch your feelings, laughing, my blah, blah, blah. Men don't supposed to have the same feelings as women. See, that's a defense mechanism that people use oftentimes to try to suppress your message. They try to use that to shut you up. They try to use that so that you can be cool with bad behavior. You see what I'm saying? So now, sucker, you can't get me with that one. You can't get me with that one. I'm blocking these clowns to maintain the integrity of my channel. That's why I blocked them. And since you want to come with that type of energy, ha, 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 guess who gets the last laugh? Yeah, chump. Yeah, let me find. Let me make. Let me find you before I I block you. You you want to go and get off right now before I do the damage? 
because you got to go. That's right. You got to go. I'm not having it, fam. Get on up out of here now. Get you. Get your own up out of here. Get on up out of here. I'm not having it. Who else? They'll have people say, they'll say stuff like, uh, you know, people coming, people, a lot of times people think that just because you have uh, an open platform that that means that they can be disrespectful. Yeah, the open platform allows everybody to be able to participate. That's all it is. It's an so just like you have your own YouTube channel, everybody on here have their own YouTube channel. Everybody got their own channel. Everybody got their own Instagram, Facebook, whatever. That's yours. And you get to set the rules. And it's almost like your house. It's your house. It's your rules. And if somebody don't want to buy by those rules, you have a right to deny them access. And that's what I'm doing. I'm exercising my rights. Imagine somebody coming to your house and they start acting a fool. They start cussing or whatever, or they started clowning somebody or disrupting the peace. And then you put them out and then they tell you, well, the only, you know, the only people who can't, who can't uh, produce a, a, a sound argument would put somebody out of their house. You know how ignorant you sound? I'm really, really good at communications. In fact, I would dare say that I am an expert communicator. From writing music to doing a political satire column, writing a, a political satire column in Vice.com, to writing for Complex Magazine, to... Uh, my podcast stuff that I do, um, to the speaking engagements, I would dare say that I am an expert communicator. So I know how to communicate on all kinds of levels, but I also know how to get my respect and I know how to give respect. You ain't coming on here being disrespectful in the name of, oh, just, having a conversation in the name of forcing your opinion. Your opinion ain't that important to me. What's up, Tam? Let's see. What up, Wood? Clevo Mac, Renee Williams, what it do? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who is that? Who is that? Swift. Hold on, Swift. Wild card. What up? What up? Annie Washington. What it do? Let's see. Annie. Who is that? Was that audio, audio holics? What's up? Audio holics. What's good? What's good?
Uh, was that Joe David? Joe David, what Joe David trying to say? L.A. Hopkins, what's up? Dara James says, Candace can be right about ABC and wrong about XYZ, but some people attach to the ABC so hard they're willing to overlook the XYZ. You know why? You know why? Because if you say certain things, if you do certain things, certain things are just unforgivable. That's why. So it don't matter what else you do. It's kind of like how the government gives uh, gives out billions of dollars to the black community every year for welfare. But at the same time, they allow all of these atrocities to happen in black society. They allow the police to get away with murder. They allow uh, a chemical plants to release airborne chemicals in our neighborhoods that they know is killing us. They allow for food deserts. They defund our schools. They promote prison to pipeline, uh, school to uh, prison pipelines. They do a whole lot of things to destroy the community. So we know how they really feel about us. So just because somebody does something nice for you does not mean that they love you or they care about you. Just because somebody says something nice about you doesn't mean that they really love you or care about you. You have to look at the totality of what they do and how they move. And certain things that people do, certain things that people say, they're so, they're such a detriment to our society. They, they cause so much damage that forgiveness is not even an option. It's certain things you do, you just can't come back from. Other people understand this. That's why you don't see their people engaging in certain types of behavior, like what she, like what Candace Owens engages in. You don't hear anybody else doing that. So why is it so hard for you to understand what she's doing? Ain't cool. That is because a lot of y'all are self-haters and a lot of y'all are too quick to forgive. You're too quick to forgive. We got to be okay with discarding some of these blacks. They're not going to make it. Everybody ain't going to make it. We got to be okay with letting some of them go. We got to be okay with that. Everybody ain't going to make it. We got to be okay, just like we're okay with letting some of these some of these people in the streets who who are detriments to the community go. We ain't got no problem discarding them. We got to be okay with letting some of these suits and ties and these nice dresses go. Some of these so-called educated ones, we got to be okay with letting them just die. We got to be okay with leaving them out there all by themselves in the wilderness. We got to be okay with that. I ain't got no problem with it. It ain't hard. It ain't hard to not throw your own people under the bus. Under the bus. I got it. Certain things we all, we, everybody got, every group got their own issues. But everybody else smart enough to talk about their issues between themselves, not to get on a major pu public platform with thousands or millions of people and start bumping, dragging your own people day after day after day. That's all your that's your whole entire hustle. You don't see that. She not only making things bad for the ones who you think. She's just talking. She's talking. When she says something bad about one, a, a lot what a lot of these people tend to do is group everybody and say, oh, that 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 goes for all of them. Because Candace says so. So Candace is saying, you know, it's cool. Candace is saying George Floyd was such a horrible person, you know, perhaps he deserved to die. Candace is saying Michael Brown was shouldn't have been walking in the middle of the street. He needs to respect authority. So you know, it's unfortunate that he died, but, you know, you can't blame the officer. 
with Trayvon Martin and everything and on and on and on. Let me tell you something. If you, if you agree with any of those positions, if you down with anybody who think that Michael Brown, George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, the Sterling dude out of New and, and Baton Rouge, all of these people, just so many people, Brianna Taylor, did you hear what she said about Brianna? If you agree with anybody who think that those murders were justified, I don't give a damn about your opinion. I don't care nothing about you. You can go where Candace go, wherever y'all go, wherever jigger moves and buck dancers and, 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 and racist and, and all you subhumans go. That's where you can go. I care nothing about you. What's up, Lawrence Reed? Voodoo man, what up? Try. I ain't sitting down with that sucker. Talking about why don't you sit down with Candace to debate? Why you talk, why you taking out on the people? Let me tell you something, family. A wise man once said. I only debate my equal. All others I teach. Why would I sit down with somebody who has uh, views that are just so counter to what minds are, so adverse to mine, and who I know that has no understanding whatsoever who I know is not going to even consider a different view, a different take. Why am I just sitting down just, to, just for the entertainment or just for people to hear us talk? Oh, she said it. Oh, he got her right there. Well, she got him. She got him. Oh, he. We just going to talk just to hear each other try to outwit one another. So we just going to talk to, to, so, so that the people can hear, see some entertainment. Man, I don't care nothing about that. When I have conversations with people, I have conversations with people to try to get an understanding. I don't have conversations with people just so uh, people can witness a pissing contest. I have conversations with people to get an understanding. I'm not sitting down with somebody who I know ain't for me or my people just to sit down with them. And I know there will not be any progress. I made my point, they made their point, and that's all it was to it. And everybody got a chance to be entertained. No, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. I sit down with you, we gonna grow, and we gonna talk about trying to get an understanding. I'll sit down for that. If we trying to get an understanding, we're going to sit down. I hear you out. You hear me out. And we're going somewhere with this. And we and I think we can move the needle. I said, I'll do that if I think we can move the needle. But just to sit down and hear you talk, to spew that rhetoric, and you sit down and hear me talk, I'm not with that. All right, fam, that's my time. I appreciate y'all joining live. Until next time. Ms. Jazzy, thanks for uh, moderating. Thank all y'all for coming into the chat. Um, hey, even the haters made it a little bit more spirited today. Wouldn't you say so, fam? Uh, I ain't mad at them. And, no, I'm lying, I am. But anyway, fam, I appreciate y'all joining the live. Till next time, no more talk.